Welcome to NVIDIA Insider. Today, we're getting into what everyone's talking about, NVIDIA's latest GPUs. With new features come big questions. Are these GPUs worth the hype? What makes them so powerful? And most importantly, should you upgrade? We'll break down everything from specs and performance to real-world applications, so stick around to get all the details. So let's kick off with a quick look at NVIDIA's latest GPU lineup. This generation includes flagship models like the RTX 4090 and 4080, delivering top-tier performance for those who demand the best. NVIDIA has positioned these GPUs not only for gamers, but for a wide range of professionals as well, especially those in content creation and AI. You're not just looking at raw power here. These cards are packed with features that expand what a GPU can do, from accelerating complex calculations to enhancing graphics in ways that just weren't possible a few years ago. At the heart of this lineup is NVIDIA's latest Ada Lovelace architecture. This architecture is a massive upgrade in multiple areas, including processing power, memory bandwidth, and efficiency. First up, let's talk about ray tracing cores. NVIDIA has seriously leveled up here, making real-time ray tracing smoother and more efficient than ever. Unlike older models that made you choose between jaw-dropping visuals and playable frame rates, these GPUs let you have both without the usual performance dip. Next, we've got the Tensor cores, and they're not just there to make your graphics look cooler. These are powerhouse cores for AI work, tackling the intense computations needed for deep learning. And don't forget the CUDA cores, the heart and soul of general-purpose computing on these GPUs. With NVIDIA's new architecture, these cores are turbocharged for serious performance gains across the board. And what about memory? With these GPUs, you're looking at higher memory bandwidth and VRAM capacities, allowing you to play, create, and compute without worrying about limitations. These are powerhouse specs, and they're matched by a thermal design that keeps everything cool. No small feat given the power these GPUs pack. Now let's get into performance, because specs are just the beginning. We ran a bunch of benchmarks to see what these GPUs can actually do. And spoiler alert, the numbers are pretty impressive, starting with gaming at 4K. These GPUs eat high-resolution gaming for breakfast. Even on demanding titles like Cyberpunk, we're talking over 120 frames per second, and that's with ray tracing maxed out. That's thanks to DLSS, or Deep Learning Super Sampling. DLSS uses AI to boost your frame rates without compromising on visuals. With the latest version, DLSS 3.5, you're getting the clearest, sharpest images NVIDIA has ever delivered. And what's amazing is how well these GPUs handle DLSS alongside ray tracing, something that was a serious performance drain in previous generations. When you look at Alan Wake 2, you can see what I'm talking about. At 4K native with ray tracing enabled, even the 4090 struggles to maintain 24 FPS. However, DLSS comes to the rescue, boosting performance to a smooth 70 FPS with quality settings. Disable ray tracing, and you're looking at a buttery smooth 120 frames per second with DLSS quality mode. Starfield is also a good example. This ambitious first-person space adventure tells a different story. At 4K native with max settings, we're seeing a solid 70 FPS right out of the gate. Most players find their sweet spot with FSR and dynamic resolution scaling enabled, hitting around 85 FPS while maintaining visual fidelity. The verdict? The RTX 4090 already sets an incredible benchmark for performance. And with NVIDIA's next generation on the horizon, we can't wait to see how they'll push gaming visuals even further. These GPUs excel in creative applications as well, making them ideal for video editors, 3D artists, and animators. In Blender, for example, rendering a complex 3D scene on the RTX 4090 takes half the time compared to last-gen GPUs. And in Adobe Premiere Pro, exporting a high-resolution video is lightning fast, saving creators time and letting them focus more on their projects. And if you're into AI, these GPUs are game changers. With the boosted Tensor Cores and CUDA Cores, these GPUs drastically reduce the time it takes to train models. For researchers and developers, this is huge because you can iterate faster and experiment with more complex models without waiting around for hours. All right, now let's dig into some of the new features. 
NVIDIA didn't just make these GPUs faster, they added some cutting edge tech that changes how you use them. Ray tracing and DLSS are front and center in this lineup. DLSS 3.5 isn't just a minor update, it uses AI models to create new frames, filling in the gaps to give you ultra smooth motion even at high resolutions. Ray tracing has also been refined, so light behaves more realistically in-game, adding depth to shadows, reflections, and environmental effects. If you're serious about gaming visuals, this is as close to photorealism as you can get. Another feature to look out for is NVIDIA Reflex, a technology aimed at competitive gamers. Reflex reduces system latency, so your actions register faster in the game. This can make all the difference in fast-paced games where every millisecond counts. Think of it as having an edge on your competition without needing an upgrade to your reflexes. These GPUs also come with AI-driven features that are great for streamers and content creators. For example, NVIDIA Broadcast leverages AI to remove background noise, enhance video quality, and even apply virtual backgrounds without a green screen. If you're streaming or creating content, these features make production easier and more professional. So what can these GPUs do in real-world scenarios? Quite a bit as it turns out, in gaming, it's pretty straightforward. These GPUs offer some of the best visual fidelity and performance on the market. Whether you're into AAA games with high-res textures or competitive titles where every frame matters, this lineup has you covered. For content creators, this lineup is a productivity powerhouse. 3D artists will appreciate the faster rendering times while video editors benefit from smoother playback and quicker exports. Finally, NVIDIA's new GPUs play a huge role in metaverse development. The Omniverse platform, for instance, relies on the power of these GPUs to create photorealistic 3D worlds and enable real-time collaboration. If you're in the VR or AR space, this level of performance is game-changing. All right, time for a reality check. Here's what you need to know about the pros and cons. On the pro side, these GPUs offer incredible power, making them ideal for gamers, creators, and professionals alike. They're packed with advanced features like ray tracing, DLSS, and AI tools that elevate both performance and experience. But there are some downsides. The biggest con is, of course, the price. These GPUs don't come cheap, and with all that power, they draw a lot of energy, so you might need to upgrade your power supply as well. So how does the latest lineup compare to the previous generation? In gaming, the RTX 40 series delivers around a 30 to 40% performance boost over the RTX 30 series in most games. In productivity tasks like 3D rendering and video editing, the gains are even more impressive. This isn't just an incremental update, it's a real leap forward. NVIDIA's latest GPUs are setting a new standard they're perfect for gamers who want the ultimate experience, creators who need raw power, and professionals pushing the boundaries in AI and the metaverse. If you're ready to invest in top-tier performance, these GPUs are absolutely worth it. But if you're still on the RTX 30 series and not hitting any performance ceilings, you might want to hold off. Thanks for watching NVIDIA Insider. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all things NVIDIA.